Hey, this is Gwen from Hair Bow Supplies, etc. Today we're going to make a Valentine's hair bow. We have so many cute pink and red ribbons today, and uh, so I'm going to tell you which ones we're going to use. So these four strips, this is for our ribbon spikes. Um, there are nine pieces total. I have three of these and two of the others. Um, I have this ribbon here. It's a seven eighths inch width, and it. I have two pieces of those, and they're 22 inches long. This piece here and this piece are both 25 inches long and we're going to put those, use those together. I've got about a 5 or 6 inch piece of white ribbon and then I've got two pink sequin bows, a lined alligator clip, a red elegance rhinestone button. All these things you can find available in our shop. We also need to use scissors, hot glue, lighter, needle and thread and hairspray and you're going to need a measuring tape to measure out your ribbon. So let's go ahead and get started. So these two strips of ribbon, these again are 22 inches long, we're going to take the edges and seal them with a the lighter. Get your needle and thread ready. You're going to uh, put them on top of each other just like this so that the top and bottom show together. So when you make the bow, you'll see the in and outside together. Okay, so line it up nicely. Hold this right in your right hand and fold it to your left. Make sure this is on an angle. Bring the left side over and bring it to your right. Now I have sprayed these ribbons with hairspray beforehand and let it dry. It just makes it a little bit more stiff and it makes another a nice loop when you make your hair bow. Take your hair bow and turn it. Grab your ribbon and bring it under. You're going to have this not completely um, centered. It's just going to be a little bit off. And then you're going to take this last piece and bring it up and to the left. Make sure that your hair bow is your loops are centered like this and I'm going to just scoot this back over to the left because it is not quite centered. Okay, And then here I'm just going to pull this up and make sure that my loops are even here. Okay, now that you're done, bring it back around. Make sure that this edge piece is a little bit to the right and then get your needle and thread. and punch it through. Pull it back through. And then take your needle and put it through the loop, just like this. We do have a sweet little mascot. His name is Gizmo. We have a new doggy. He's in the background. You might hear him woof a little bit. So take your thread and wrap it around. Grab your hair bow, turn, and then pull. Um, this is very thick ribbon because it has been printed on, so you're going to have to get really sturdy ribbon and make sure that your ribbon is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, really sturdy thread and make sure that you can pull real tight on it. Once you have it pulled tight, wrap your thread around your bow a couple more times. Go back to the back. Get your needle and put it through the back. And then secure that off. Now you're gonna take your hair bow and pull it back a little bit. Once you find the shape that you want, I think this is a really pretty shape, then you're going to get your little piece of paper. This piece of paper has been here sprayed quite a few times, but what you're going to do is get the shape that you want, kind of push it down, and then get some hairspray and spray your bow and let that sit for a few minutes and dry. We're going to make the second hair bow about the same way, it's just going to be a little bit bigger than the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal the edges with a lighter and then I'm going to just put some pretty music on and speed this up so that you don't have to listen to how to make the same hair bow twice, but it is going to be the same boutique hair bow. 
So just take your ribbons and match them together. I'm gonna put the quatrefoil on the inside. Next we're going to make our ribbon spikes. What we need to do is just take each one, fold them in half, bend it in half again, and then just cut on an angle. And then you're going to take your lighter and just seal the edges just like that. So we're gonna do that for all of uh, nine pieces. Now we're ready to assemble our hair bow, so let's go ahead and get some more hair, hot glue. Take your largest bow and put that on top. Get some more glue. And put your smaller bow in the center. Some more glue. We're going to put this ribbon in the center. We're going to go ahead and flip our bow. Put your lined alligator clip on. Pull the rest of the ribbon down here. I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to go ahead and seal that edge. And then pinch it open. Put your glue down. Bring your ribbon up and around. Next, take your button and then cut the shank off the back. Get some more hot glue for the center. And put that right in the middle of your bow. 
Now we're going to get these two sequin bows and we're going to put them, put some glue on either edge. And we're going to just make them real flashy right here at the bottom. So that is how to make a Valentine hair bow. Thank you so much for joining us and please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.